Yes. Because you're quite an old time. No, just now. I can hear you kind of look like I'm just listening. I'm just listening. What'd you say? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Salvation. We got Salvation. What about us? Anybody else see any other words of observation there? I know. I know. I. 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 That just shall turn to my, my salvation. So we see salvation comes out. We see uh, prayer come out. Prayer come out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, supply. Supply. Mm -hmm. What about in verse 20? What's the observation in verse 20? Expectation. Expectation. I like that. Expectation. I like uh -huh. that, 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 that word. Uh, it just leaps off the page. We just mm -hmm. the page. What else you see there? Hope. 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 Yeah. Uh, Nothing, yeah. Uh, nothing. Nothing shall be ashamed. Be ashamed. Without boldness. That that word boldness, again, that, that's mm -hmm. those two words I think just when you look at them, expectation and boldness, just because oh. remember what condition he's in. I want you to remind him, he's in prison getting ready to die. So his mm -hmm. condition is not one that, you know, you would you would put those words together and say expectation and boldness. What what else in verse twenty you see there? Magnify. Magnify. Um, I, I want, I want, I, we're just going to observe, just going to observe. Magnify. I like uh, now. Huh? I like now. All by itself. Just now. 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 Mm -hmm. now. Now. Right now. Mm -hmm. What about uh, verse 21? Let, let, let me help you out on verse 21. I think the whole verse. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the whole verse. And, and we'll get into it, but but that whole verse just speaks volumes to what to what we see. What I, what I, what I, uh, we 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 sit on the whole verse twenty one. What about verse twenty two? What what comes off uh, the page in twenty two? Just observe it. What what what's some things that you just see you come off the page? That's the first one. When I, when I first heard the word betwixt, I had, I had to highlight that myself to go look at what, what does betwixt mean? What, what is going on with betwixt? Uh, what else what you see in that, that verse? That's 20, 23. Desire. Desire. Far better. Far better. Far better. I mean, that's, um, when you think of his condition, I, I felt, I'm just going to say something on this one here. He's my far better. I understand his condition. I understand all that Paul went through. And he's at the point now I'm dying. He said, man, it's far better that I just go and leave this place and be with Christ. Um, no, 24. Right. Tell me less. Abide. Right. Flesh. Flesh. Needful. Needful. Verse 25. We just observe it. We just observe it. If you... Of course. <laughs> one, one thing I would say that, 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 that we'll probably do it in a later verse. Uh, as you pull these words out, just write those words down. Just write those words down, especially when you get in chapter 3. When you start doing observation, pull those words out and just listen. Then, then see what those words are as you just list those words you observe. And you put those on paper. And you start to see how those words are even magnified when you take them off the paper and put them down. So if you were to put some of the words we said today, today we said uh, salvation, prayer, supply, education, not ashamed. Uh, boldness, uh, magnify. Uh, uh, for me to live in Christ is to for me to live. For me to live in Christ to die is gain. The flesh, fruit, labor. You put those on things. 
then they start talking about our inner who we are, uh, the whole of who we are. So um, that's one thing we do this later on, pull those words out. Uh, verse 25. Because what's going to happen? 
we're going to analyze and, and apply at the same time. I learned last week it's hard to analyze every day and then apply. So, so in, this, in this exercise, we're going to analyze and apply. So we, we looked at this verse 19. Uh, most of us said uh, the word salvation comes off the page. Shows us that this is this. When he says this, and I, I, I took that whole phrase there, what, is the, what, what do you think he's, he's acknowledging at this moment? Or oh, what analytical and application you can take from that statement from turn to my salvation? This is what y'all talk about. There's no wrong answers. Uh, 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 in terms of my salvation, that means that, uh, that, 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 uh, that, that, that you can come uh, to me, you can, you, you, can go to, or you can go to him for anything. Go through and everything. Anybody else see, see that? Remember, okay, let me just one second. Remember last week we were saying that we were saying that um, because of his bonds, the men were more confident now in uh, preaching the word and doing that. So and so that he had he was starting to rejoice. Even even as Christ was preached because of the wrong means, mm -hmm. that uh, people were doing it for their own glory, but they were preaching Christ and people were hearing Christ. And that was those who loved him and was preaching Christ. That's how you end in verse 17 and 18. And so 19 comes for this conversation. He says, for this shall, for, I, for I, know this, I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer. And salvation by itself, it says that, and I'm going to help you out with this one, that this is not the end of me. This, this is not going to kill me. Whatever I'm going through, it's going to turn to my salvation because of how I handle it. But watch this. He says through your prayers that he needs the prayers of others as well. Because sometimes we need other people's prayers to support us as we're going through. Uh, sometimes it's more than just our prayers. We need other people's prayers. And, he, and, and, and here he's telling them, have confidence in what you're doing. And it's a father, the spirit of, of Jesus Christ. Uh, so when we look at this passage, uh, how would you apply this if we say that the eternal of salvation, prayer, and, and the sublime spirit of Jesus Christ? How, 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 how in turn can we take these words that we use and then to apply them to our life? By praying for each other, it will give us the strength that we gain in salvation to get through, because uh, Jesus Christ, of course, supplies it. But through you praying for me and me praying for you, we both can gain strength to go on in whatever the situation may be that we're going through at the time. Uh, we may not know what the situations are, but if we just know that uh, that uh, you know, our brother or our sister is going through something, that we should offer up our prayers because there's strength in our prayers and, and, and the strength that's in our prayers will hold us to our salvation. Anybody else? Did Edson go too deep? Everybody know. That's what I want to follow behind Edson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So, so we say that it turned my salvation. Um, then he says the words that that, that kind of <coughs> stood out. And I think we all know this idea of um, expectation, hope, not ashamed, but boldness. Uh, and I highlighted Christ the continuation the idea of He keeps mentioning Christ. Uh, so I said magnify life, death. Uh, when we look at this whole complex of verse 20, uh, when we see that word uh, earnest expectation and my hope, uh, what do you what, what, what do you get from those, those that combination of words there? But everybody, everybody else. I wasn't gonna put it <laughs> What do you think about earnest expectations? What do you think about that? Earnest expectations. Well, everybody has. What, 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 what do you think about what does expectation mean? 
expect it. What, what, what you expect? What you looking for? Yeah. So, so, so. Service, uh, you know, the focus, service, honor, and you know, honoring. Yeah. So, so now, what does earnest mean? Earnest is true, good, true, true good. Okay. So, what's the opposite of earnest expectation? What's the opposite of that? If it's not honest, it's false it's expectation. False. So, so, so what would be some, so, so what, what would be some false imitation of life? What stuff we expect? No. Mm -hmm. Hope. <laughs> what, what would be some false imitation of life? That there's no hope. That this is the end. That, that this is not no, exactly. That's, this, 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 this is it. Or watch this, man. I'm at church. My life will be easy. I don't have no problem. I don't to get attacked. I don't. Think about false and people think that when I come to Christ. It's all rosy. I should be able to get my lottery number right on top of my head. I should be able to go play the lottery. I should pray before I play the lottery and hit it. I should pray before I go bingo and win all the bingo money. I should I, I should get every job I ever applied for, even if I'm not qualified. I should be able to go from the lowest level to the vice president right now. You know that we we when you start talking about that, that that 